Hey, people. This is me again. So, anyways, as far as with my last video uh, about Justice Kennedy's retirement, and a lot of people in the LGBTQ community are afraid of the fact that the marriage equality will be uh, reversed somehow. But I don't really think that's likely to happen as far as that goes. And then considering now, it's just that two-thirds of the population support marriage equality. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit strange now that we come this far. I mean, 15 years ago, it was kind of like two-thirds of the people were against marriage equality, and now we have two-thirds support of it. The only people who still uh, are against that are those religious conservatives, but their their number is basically dwindling as far as that goes. There's plenty of conservatives that that just don't think it's an issue anymore and want to move on and focus on other things and than just worry about who can or can or can or can not marry, as far as that goes, and especially with the young conservatives, as far as that goes. And considering, as far as that goes, what had made people change their minds about the issue of gay marriage was... The fact that maybe they started to realize that gay people are just people who just simply happen to be attracted to the same sex, and that's that's just it, and and it's not really as scary as they thought it would be, you know. And let's see, and it was also the other little. Um, religious scandals and stuff, you know, like the whole Ted Haggard and uh, Roy Ashburn and all these other one, the George Riker, Rikers, or, you know, all these other little scandals like that that caused people to think otherwise about the whole issue with, with uh, marriage equality. And then the other thing was is that the old guard of people who were so uh, adamant against marriage equality passed away, you know, because what happened here, we had Strom Thurmond and uh, Jesse Helms that passed away years ago before it became such a hot-button issue. And then... As far as that goes, they get any of these people like that, and they end up getting replaced by somebody who's who doesn't really see that as much of an issue at all, you know, as far as that goes. I mean, the only reason that it was made an issue there was to just, just to help Bush get reelected, just to court the religious conservatives at that point. And as I said before about it, it is just that the religious conservatives are losing in strength at that point there. And they're being replaced by all these other different brands of conservatives that don't really care about that issue. You know, that they have bigger issues to worry about than than worrying about two gay people getting married. Yeah. So I don't think it's really that much of a thing to be worried about as far as that goes. And then considering as I said before about it is that with, with this, this is just simply energizes the left for this year's midterms and then quite possibly make get rid of Trump in 2020 but 
I'm not going to hold my breath on that sort of thing there. So, anyways, I guess that's probably it. So, talk to you guys later.